Hello, hello. Welcome to In the Studio, episode 69. So today we're actually going to be doing a second shaker video, shaker video round two. There's just uh, a few more techniques that I want to show you for making a loop out of a one shot. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take the same shaker sample that we used in the last video and we're going to take a different approach here and, and I'll show you a few different techniques um, that you can maybe try out. So let's get to it. Um, just a little refresher. This is what we did in the in the last video if you didn't see that. It's just a you know a basic shape shaker loop with a one shot sample. It's obviously too loud right now but just so you can hear it. So it's doing its thing, and um, just a little recap, we just added, it, we just laid down uh, a fairly basic eighth note pattern, um, we added a little uh, um, delay there, and then we did a stereo offset on the delay to widen the signal out, we added a touch of reverb to it, and we did a little filter modulation to give it that much more uh, you know, movement and interest. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn off the filter modulation right now, and let's we're going to use the same sample, but let's put down a different pattern. So I'm just going to hop on over to the shaker. There we are. Let's hop back into the piano roll here, and I'm going to delete this one. I think instead of an eighth note pattern, I want to do a sixteenth note pattern on this one. I'm going to pull that across. I'll, we'll just work with one bar here. It's fine. And I think I actually want to pull down the first hit quite a bit. So you can almost, well, it'll still be, you can still hear it, but just way lower than the other ones. And that like almost kind of gives it like a like a, a triplet kind of vibe. And then we're going to accent the last note there, pulling these down. Okay. Cool. All right, now I think what I might want to do on this one is I might make this one a little bit shorter. So let's let's put uh, let's en enable the envelope, the volume envelope here. I'm just going to turn all these down, the hold, the K, the sustain for right now, and then I'm going to make this a little bit of a a shorter sound. So actually, I'm going to pull in the release right now too. I'm going to start really extreme and then open it up. We can add a touch of release. Okay, now what I want to do here, oh shoot, we actually didn't take off the, the delay and the reverb. Let's take those off and let's listen back now. Okay. Sorry, I, I forgot to take those off. Um, but yeah, we, we got a nice short sample. And what I want to do here is um, let's let's modulate the decay with an LFO to give it a little bit more, um, you know, motion here. So let's pull up just the formula controller. No, not the formula controller. The peak controller. You can do LFO with that though. Um, okay, so let's link the decay 
to the peak controller. And we're on insert 32. So let's hop, select the LFO, hit accept. And actually, we're going to use the base here. So let's reconfigure our. This is where we want the lowest point. You know, that we want the envelope to be at its most closed position. So. Okay, we'll leave it about right there, I think. Maybe that up a little bit. And let's just use a sine wave here, it's fine. And maybe we can modulate this to go over eight bars. So I'm gonna right click on the speed dial here. And we're gonna set this to 128 steps, which equates to eight bars. And then we're gonna just pull this up a little bit. And so now let's, yeah. Okay, I think that'll work. Just slowly, just that decay is opening up just a little bit and then closing back down over a span of eight bars. Okay, so now what I want to do is actually send this, instead of putting the reverb and delay on the actual insert itself, let's put it on a auxiliary bus and then we'll send the shaker loop over to the uh, bus. So we're just gonna use this uh, short verb channel here this auxiliary so i'm just going to go ahead and take these plugins off which just come preloaded with with this template um, so let's put on a delay first and i'm going to use an eighth note delay here i'm going to pull down the dry signal all the way so it's off we don't want to hear the dry signal just the wet signal because this is a send and let's listen to that. First, we need to send it over though. You know what I actually might want to do? Um, I might even just, I think I might use Fruity Delay 3 for this instead, because I can't, I want to distort or saturate the delayed signal a little bit. So we'll use the same timing though. We'll use an eighth note. And you can right click on this little dial here and set it to a, a value this way if you want to do it that way. So we're going to put it on eighth note and let's turn the dry signal off. Let's enable the plugin though first. Okay, now let's add a, just a touch of reverb here as well. Just gonna pu push that size up a little bit. I'm going to pull this to the left and spread out the reverb nice and wide. Give it a low cut, bring up the high cut. I'm gonna turn the high cut off actually. 
and we're going to pull this all the way up to 100%, pull the dry signal all the way down, give it a little bit of a decay. I'm definitely going to turn that down, but I just want to turn it up for right now while we're working on it. Now, I want to try uh, ducking this reverb and delay signal, um, but I'm not just going to just duck it to the kick. I actually want to duck it to the offbeat. So let's enable this uh, main open hat here. Okay, let's actually pull this offset over a little bit like we did in the last time. Actually turned it on the ping pong mode, I'm digging that for right now. Um, so what I'm going to do here on this uh, auxiliary channel is put on a fruity limiter here, and we're actually going to use the. We're just going to side chain it to this track here, the main off, you know, offbeat hat, just to let that have its space and poke through, and we'll uh, duck the reverb delay from our shaker loop from that so let's hop on over to the compressor oh what am I doing here Jesus okay come here so we're going to select the open hat one is what it is yep and let's push up the ratio so we get some some compression maybe just go for two to one here and pull back on the release till we get some compression happening and then we can or pull back on the threshold excuse me till we get some compression happening and then we'll dial in the release to set our groove and just give it a little bit of a attack here as well okay Turn open hat off for a second and listen to just the shaker.
Yeah, and you could even like automate the decay time there, like I was playing around with on the reverb. gives it gives it kind of yeah, a nice uh, a nice little effect. And this is more of like a, kind of a sloshy kind of um, shaker kind of vibe. Um, but I think that's working. So yeah, that's uh, one other way to maybe approach uh, um, programming a shaker loop, um, which I think uh, could be interesting. You know, utilizing sense and what what actually what else you can maybe do here? Let's let's you could even use an EQ to sculpt that reverb delay a little bit more. So maybe just take out some of the lows here and really maybe ex really exaggerate the top end. Yeah, I definitely think it sounds better tucked down a little bit lower. I uh, just want to, you know, turn the volume up and the send level up a little bit more so you can hear a little bit, you know, what, what's going on a little bit more clearly. So, yeah, I think that that's a good enough to stop for right now. Um, just wanted to give you some, some more ideas to maybe think about when you're thinking about programming loops from one shots, especially shakers and tambourine loops and things like that. And I did do just recently a video on like making uh, like a hat shaker type loop with white noise, um, doing some modulation on a modulator. So that might be something you want to check out if you like this video. And also one of my very first videos I did uh, um, how to make a tambourine loop which kind of goes over some different things like adding swing and applying the Haas effect and stuff. So I'll pop those both up in the cards up top there. So you can check those out. Um, but yeah, that's the shaker video round two. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, as always, leave me a comment or question. Love to hear from you and I will see you soon. Take care.